This review is of Bellino Panettone, traditional Italian cake baked with sultana raisins and candied orange peels. It's made in Italy, unfortunately uses butter, so that's going to be bad for me. <clears throat> uh, and a couple of suggestions on mixing it with coffee or ice cream and an explanation of what panettone is. <clears throat> And that's pretty much it. Let's, oh, it's made, it's a proprietary brand of Cento. Mm hmm So, nutrition facts. <clears throat> 10 grams of fat, of which 6 are saturated, no trans fats. 60 milligrams of cholesterol, 135 milligrams of sodium. 44 grams of carbs, of which 2 are dietary fiber. 20 are sugars, of which 12 are added. And 4 grams of protein. And these are the ingredients. And unfortunately, it uses glucose fructose syrup. <clears throat> well, at least it doesn't have a ton of sodium in it. That's a plus. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right. Let's uh, give it a try. Ooh, it's very, it's much denser than the other two brands of Panettone I've tried. One of which is Winternacht from, or Winternacht, if you want to be an English speaker, from Aldi. And then, uh, oh gosh, I forgot the other one. It's another Italian brand. They're all Italian brands. At least I think Winternacht is, well, it's German, but it, I thought it was made in, I think it's made in Italy anyways. It has the orange smell that you would expect. Mm. Quite nice. You definitely gain more for your money with this one. It is substantially denser. I wouldn't necessarily say that the flavor is as strong, though. Yeah, it's nice, but not as strong as the other two brands I've reviewed. Still, it's good. Um, I like the I kind of like the fact that it's dense because I'm really it really means I'm getting more for my money. I just wish the flavor matched the denseness. Maybe that's a trade off. I don't know, but I'll give this a seven and a half. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.